Today we're gonna to share with you must-have items for your home and homestead. Whether you have a homestead or just a good old home, having sharp knives is important. And that's something that we learned kind of early on is that having the right tools for the right job make a world of difference. And one of the products that we have um, added to our homestead here is the Warthog Sharpener. And the knife sharpeners that they have given us are, I, I think they're outstanding. They're super simple to use. Josh has these on the counter every day. <laughs> like because every day, not because the sh they need to be sharpened, but just because he likes doing it. I I'm do. just keeping it very real. Yes. So I see these things every, every day on the counter. <laughs> but they are, they're super easy to use and you simply just run your knife through either one of the curved or the classic sharpener here and they're durable, they're made well, um, and we just have really enjoyed them. So the Warthog Sharpeners are a great product that we've added here. We use them for processing our animals. We use them for just cutting everyday products as far as in the kitchen use, and they have pretty ones as well as functional Look ones, right? Look how pretty right? this is. <laughs> like, it doesn't have to be ugly. It can be pretty. They do. And uh, Josh is covering this a little bit right now, but when we're harvesting our own chickens, yep. the beef, all of that, having a sharp knife makes all the difference yeah. in the world. And even just when I'm prepping food in the kitchen and you know, uh, prepping lamb to put on the stovetop or whatever, having a sharp knife makes it so much easier. And it's actually safer. When you have a sharp knife, you're not trying to fight the knife yeah, and it's not rolling it all over. It's actually cutting right through the product. So they've got a lightweight version. It's called the Curve. It has no um, extra settings to it. You literally just run the knife right through it and it functions every time the same way, regardless of what knife you're using with it. You can use it for pocket knives, you can use it for your actual skinning knives or your butchering knives. Just your kitchen knives, Everyday whatever kitchen you knives. have, yeah. Um, this is other... a perfect gift idea too. If there's any guys in your life that like sharp knives as much as my husband does, this is, you know, you don't have to get the pretty color. You can just get, you know, um, you can get black too. You know, you can get these beautiful uh, sharpeners and, and they will love it. They'll just love it. This is kind of a throw in your truck, throw in your bag, um, keep it, you know, somewhere tucked away and just have it ready to use. It's got no additional uh, settings on it or any, anything like that. The other one is the classic. That's a little bit more, like I said, it's more of countertop use. It's more like when you're set up at your uh, processing and butchering stations. Once again, super simple. You just run your knife through it slide it right down and through it and it bounces back and forth. It's got two different sides. It's got the actual sharpening stones on the front side and then you flip the rod around and it's got the, the finishing stone on the back side of it just to keep those knives nice and sharp. So it's spring actuated, it's got metal, it's really durable. For those who are into saltwater, sea fishing type of stuff, they do have an all plastic one as well. Oh, that's Corrosive smart. resistant and so you're not gonna be dealing with um, the metal aspects of it kind of getting, you know, beat up by the salt. So That's those nice. are some links that we'll put up below for the Warthog sharpeners. The other thing is the knives. We have found that you don't always have to get the super expensive knives to have good sharp knives. Cause if you have the right sharpener, you can keep your normal knives, your, <laughs> yeah. your accessible knives as far as uh, input of um, finances go. So we have these off of Amazon actually. These are just some basic processing knives. Um, and then I've got a set of these with a scabbard right here as well. And we've had people ask us before is like, why do you have a chain? Why do you have a chain on your knives? And on the scabbard, we've decided to go with the chain because it's way easier to deep clean and sanitize and not have it getting the processing products yeah. um, into like, like a, a fabric, yeah. uh, a leather or something like that. So we just have a simple chain connected to it and zip tied to the scabbard to keep my hands and people around um, the knives safe when they're not being used, they're not being set on the ground or tossed about. If you uh, haven't checked out any of our processing videos, that's yeah. probably worth a watch right now, but Josh car carries this around and just, you know, really easy. This is a nice safe pocket for those knives so that, especially with children participating and helping, it's nice to keep everybody safe, everything under control, and this has come in real handy. All right, you guys, I wanna share with you about a company named Rada. 
and um, they have quite a variety of different products and yep. I'm just gonna talk about the different products that we have been using here on the homestead and we have been liking them. Yes. They have been good products and really thrilled about it. I know you love talking about knives I and do. sharp knives. Do you wanna <laughs> talk about that first? Yes, yeah, so real quick, they have a serrated, uh, this is a tomato knife. It's, I love their knives honestly because they're, they're super lightweight. I don't like big bulky knives. I and like the stainless handle too. If, they're easy like, to clean. Visually, yeah. I think they're a beautiful knife, which yeah. is nice. It's nice when you have functional and something that's pretty right. and nice looking as well. So they've got the tomato cutting knife here, which is the serrated one, which actually when you cut it, it doesn't like smoosh the tomato, it cuts right through it. Uh, they're super sharp, so These that's a nice, huge plus. They've got sharp. a cool paring knife here. Uh, just a couple, we're just gonna kind of go through it. They've got a um, another kitchen knife here that you can use for doing more of your small processing type stuff. That's my one of my favorites. We do like this one. And once again, they're not like these big, bulky, heavy knives. They're really easy to handle. And they're like I said, they're all metal, which makes them super easy to clean. Uh, the stainless steel. So in this set here, they've got um, just a spatula, a pie, uh, what do they call that, a pie scooper? Yeah. I'm gonna call it a pie yeah. scooper. Uh, cutter slash scooper, and then your uh, ice cream scoop. Yeah, this and would make it great. And we've had the blade ice cream scoops before. We really like those. Yeah, we, we tend to stick with the, the blades versus other things too. Yes. So we've been using these items here and there for sure. The knives we use a lot, and yep. I really like them. I like that the handles are have a texture to them. It's like a brush. It's a, almost brushed. Is yeah, that how, a, how you would describe it? So yeah, I really like, like these. They've been really user friendly, but um, something, the two products we've been using the most from Rada are these nice pans. Mm -hmm. um, they are, you can just, you guys know, if you have spent any time in the kitchen baking and preparing food, you know what a cheap pan feels like. Yes. And you know what a good quality, thick, um, durable pan baking feels pan, like. Yeah. And that's yeah. what these feel like. We have been using these um, for a while now and I like them so much. I They're, know people are gonna ask, they are made in the USA yes. products, so that's awesome. Rod is a made in the USA product yep. company here. So that is a, they are proudly made in the USA. <laughs> and mine might not look brand new because we have been using them so yes. much since we since we got them. And uh, they clean really well. That's another reason I like them because yep. some of my other pans, like my baking pans, uh, like my cookie sheets and different things, get stained yeah. really easily. Right. But these seem really, really cleanable. And I've been really happy with the quality and like the evenness of the baking, you can tell that they're um, nice and thick and have a good even distribution of heat as you're baking cookies or whatever, or sheet pan meals or whatever. Um, these, these are really good. These would make great, I'm sorry, like I don't get offended when people give me like uh, kitchen items for gifts. Yeah, like I sure. am all about that because we use these every single day. I mean, throughout the entire year, these different products. We it was so fun to put out these beautiful little servers for the holidays this year. It was really nice, and the knives get used every day. Let us know if you're using Rada products, how you've enjoyed them, what you like about them. Like Annie said, I really like that they're they're durable. They're not they're not pan they're warping. Not cheap. You know, no, they're not popping they're not and warping cheap. in the oven. Um, and they are, like they said, they're the stainless steel, made in the USA uh, kitchen products that we've enjoyed a lot. And make sure you follow along and watch all of our 12 Days of Christmas series. There's some amazing things that you're gonna want in your home, your homestead, so make sure you stay tuned. I wanna talk about one of my favorite staple baking items first, and then we'll get into the other products, but I wanna talk about salt. You guys have salt in your house. I have salt in my house. We use it for all sorts of things here on the farm and in our in our home. And I wanna talk about Redmond. Okay, many of you have heard us talk about them before. Yes. Uh, but we choose to buy our salt in bulk through Redmond. And that's what this is. I wasn't about to bring up my huge old bag, a 25 pound bag of, of Redmond's real salt. Yes. But we store them in these nice mason jars. And so I brought this up to show you guys um, it's beautiful it's clean it's healthy it's not like putting table salt into your body mm -hmm. but it's something that your body knows how to use and process and this is a staple you will always find in our pantry right. and we bake with this we cook with this everyday um, use you can right? do scrubs <laughs> with this but you know uh, julianne likes to make tooth powders and do different things we love to use the redmond products um, including so well salt is number one Next, I want to talk about their toothpaste, and I brought down the cinnamon one today, and for an easy 
toothpaste that you can just keep in the pantry. Yep. We like to keep the Redmond cinnamon toothpaste because all my kids like it. <laughs> they have different flavors. Yes. Like lemon, uh, peppermint, yeah. spearmint, but all my kids like cinnamon. Mm. And so it's a nice go-to to keep around. Julianne uses the Redmond clay um, that we buy in bulk also. Right. I know we've talked about this previously to make a homemade tooth powder, but right. you know, there's so many of us in the family that we go through that so quickly. So we usually keep both on hand for a quick little fix and then she makes that up. And we like this this one because it only has six ingredients in it and we're not, it doesn't have all the other fillers in it and the other additives to it that we choose not to incorporate in those things as a family. Another product that we really like that I've been using for some time now is the Relight. It is an electrolyte re replacement. Um, it has a little bit of a flavor to it so that you're not just drinking plain water all the time. And it has um, other minerals, nutrients, and um, electrolytes. It has some it has of the, the salt, salt in, in it, it yep, too, right? That are in it to help balance it out and actually help rehydrate your body. Um, unlike the other um, sports drinks that are out there that have other additives in them and other colors in them and, and things of that nature, it's just real simple has a little bit of flavor to it, but it actually helps you to, to rehydrate with your water that you're drinking and makes it a little bit more enjoyable when you're drinking a ton of water because I drink a lot of water here in the farm. Yeah. We need to order some more of these because this is getting low and yes. Julianne and Josh are always, uh, you know, hitting these, <laughs> yeah. so I have to keep them in stock. Yeah, we just add one scoop to our, so, our big water bottles and, yeah. yep. And, and salt too. These are staple items that we keep in our home. If you guys haven't taken the leap to try out Redmond products, I highly recommend it. Even, even the clay, it can be used for like masks on your face, on your body. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, we use it as like a drawing salve. Let's say a kid gets a bee sting. Yes. Or a, a rash of some kind. Julianne is the first one to get out there and make a paste and rub it all over you and have it draw that out. And it really does work. You know, it's just... God's medicine, pulling it all out, yeah. right? So um, let us know what you think of Redmond Salt. If you've used their products in the past, if you uh, if you've had a success with any of their products that you've enjoyed, go ahead and hit that in the comments below. And then also to check out more about Redmond's and their products, go ahead and hit the link below and check it out. All right, let's talk boots today. We have been using high C boots here at the farm because we beat up our boots and we go through the boots like crazy. We do, especially <laughs> with eight people in the family and growing kids. You guys know I have to replace my kids boots every year while they're still growing right and sometimes mid-year because they're so rough on their boots i mean we're out doing chores and you know walking around in mud in the creek the kids love to play i love it it's the best life ever right but they are hard on their boots like yes. really hard and um we've tried lots of boots the right. whole gamut and all we the had, different name brands out yes, there right? yes yes and one company that did touch base with us was mm -hmm. high c boots yes and they sent us out actually each a pair to yeah. try uh, we have a video on that and we said, yes, we will test them out and we will see how it goes. Yeah. And we are thrilled with our high yep. C boots. We've got boots from steel toed boots to muck boots to all different types of chore boots. The cute, even the cute girls boots. dress. Well, the garden boots, but I was going to say the girls have some really cute casual wear, you know, Western type yeah. looking boots yeah. and they're really comfortable and very cute and trendy. And it's, it's definitely been a good product to have here. And I like the price of them. So all of the other big name brands out there are, they, they're really costly. So they expensive. cost a lot. And when kids are beating them up and growing out of them yeah. and you're going through them, we wanted to find a boot that would be able to meet the dollar price point yeah. and also just the everyday wear and tear. And we kind of addressed it from two different stances is you could spend more money and try to make those last longer with the other bigger name brands. Or we could go with High C because their boots are quality. They, they have held up pretty well. And the price point is really an advantage for us as a family. And if something happens to the boot, they have a lifetime warranty and on they them. have good customer service. Yes. We've never run into an issue with not being able to get a hold of them or yeah. get an item fixed or replaced. Like if the kids are too rough, you know what I'm saying? You guys right. know if you have boys, for goodness sake, right. um, sometimes they, uh, oops, I, whatever, <laughs> you know, <laughs> stepped on this big giant thing. I don't know, yeah. but um, we've been really happy with it. And my favorite pair of boots right now 
are the short garden boots because you can just slip them right on. Right. I'm still wearing those right now. Even though they're not a winter boot, I just right. like them so much. They slip on so easy, and as long as I have warm socks on, it doesn't really matter. I know you and William really like um, the casual wear yep. boots. It's, it's, a, it's actually a steel toe boot with a flat bottom and a pretty decent tread on it, but they're- but they look like nice shoes. They're a combination, like we have one pair that we kind of wear more nice casual wear, and we have a, a couple other pairs that we, we beat up pretty hard for everyday work around the farm here. So yeah, really uh, High C Boots has really kind of, they've, they've checked the box as far as being affordable, they've been durable, and we've been able to wear them and beat them up yeah. and, and use them with a lot of success. So to learn more about High C Boots and order your pair of boots, go ahead and check out the links below. We'll have them attached in the description. And thanks for checking out the video. Every house needs a good quality vacuum. And man, we have put <laughs> vacuums to the test. We've gone through the vacuums, that's for sure. Well, we vacuum every day, okay? I know we don't have to do that, but with a farmhouse, with eight people in the house, and we're home all the time yep. going in and out, plus we have a German Shepherd. Eh. <laughs> Shout out to everyone who has long haired dogs in their house. We love yep. our Josie. She's 13 years old and she's been with us since she was itty bitty puppy right. and man she knows how to shed <laughs> and we have a combination we have hardwood floors and our rugs we so, do yeah so we have tested out a lot of different vacuums yes. over the years <laughs> and today we want to talk about two different kinds of vacuums that we really like for right. different reasons right uh and you know we started with one and then i've added another one just because of different functions and, right. and why we like them so first i want to start out by talking about the dyson fluffy it's a fun name. I don't know why it's called the Fluffy, but that's what it's <laughs> called. And it was my, I had a friend, uh, Emily, and she had moved into her new house and she mm -hmm. had bought this Dyson Fluffy. And I was like, that thing's pretty fun. Can I try it? <laughs> and she let me use it and test it out. And I loved how um, compact and light it was. Right. And it was perfect if you have a lot of hardwood floors in your house. Yes, this yeah. this vacuum is perfect for that. Um, and so, like I said, we vacuum every day. And what we do on the on the we call it a quick clean schedule is vacuuming is one of the categories. Right. And so every child and including mom, we take turns. And if it's your turn to vacuum, then that's your job for the night after dinner. And yes, I do vacuum once in a while too. But I don't put Josh on the list. <laughs> He's got enough other things to do at the farm. So he doesn't get put on the quick clean list. He gets to vacuum all the time. But in this case, uh, it's even Jesse and Tabitha. Right. And well, William's practically, you know, taller than me, but like <laughs> they are able to handle the fluffy, which is really great. It, it, uh, detaches from the main unit into a handheld right. a little vacuum and it's perfect for the hardwood stairs. And, and one of the things that makes it different than our other vacuum, it is it's rechargeable with the battery system it so it doesn't have a cord attached to it, right? It's so nice not Cordless, having a cord. rechargeable. Now, yeah. the only, I like to be very real with you guys if we are reviewing a product, the yep. only downside um, that I have discovered with the Fluffy is that the exact plus that you just mentioned. Right. I love that it doesn't have a cord, but because of a battery life, you can only vacuum for so long. If someone, that, whether one of the kids or, or I am being quick and diligent, we can get the whole house vacuumed. But most of the time you run out of battery before you get to the whole house. Right, right. So we're able to do the whole first floor, usually the stairs and maybe one other room before we run out of battery power. Right. And then it takes time to recharge that. So that is the only downside. I would not say if you have a huge house, it's probably not the best vacuum for you. But if, especially if you just have an area where it's a lot of hardwood hard wood, floors, yes. it's perfect for that and you can grab it and take it out to your car and spot clean and stuff like that Absolutely. too so it, i just did yeah. that yesterday yeah. <laughs> so uh it's super handy to not have a cord in those cases right and they send you an attachment that you can put on the wall so that you can charge it on the wall off to the side somewhere if you right. look it up where electric is mm -hmm. and you do have to clean the dyson vacuum filters you have to the, yeah. i I knew that going into it, but you really do. For effectiveness, um, you need to clean it according to what they recommend right. um, on their timeline. And so that's definitely maybe, I, you're supposed to do that yeah. with other vacuums yep. as well, but you really need to do it with the Dyson. Right. But overall, really happy with it. Um, I would recommend, and I still recommend it to friends and family. And uh, I just love how user-friendly it is without the cord and how light it is. But we also added the Shark, the Shark Professional. <laughs> the shark Professional. So many of you recommend the Shark Professional, and I'm gonna jump on that bandwagon and uh, and say that I like it too. Love it. Yep. Um, I I got a white one, and our house 
is completely hardwood except for some rugs. Right. And one of the things that I don't like so much about the Dyson Fluffy is that it doesn't do as good of a job on the rugs. Right. It just doesn't really pull real it deep. It doesn't pull right? deep. It's great for loose hair, for pet hair, for dust, for stuff like that. Not great for rugs at all or carpets. Right. So that's where the shark comes in. Some things I like about the shark, it, it does have a cord and it I'm going to say that I like it. It doesn't run out of battery. Like it. It run out of battery. <laughs> it has a huge suction power. Yeah. I'm noticing that it picks up really, really well, especially on the carpets, which yeah. we have in the front porch area, we have in our living room area, upstairs in the bedrooms, and it really does a great job of getting all of that yeah. up out of the rugs. And we sure. really had a good side-by-side -side with that when we had the, the Dyson and then we added the shark and we saw kind of like I how tested. much was being left behind by yeah. the Dyson. Because right? the Dyson is meant for hardwood floors. It is. So it is. it's, I mean, I was making it work for our carpets, but it wasn't doing as good of a job as the shark yeah. does on the carpet. Right. So um, because of that, I like how it suctions. I like how it plugs in. I can do it as long as I want. It's bulkier than the, so let's talk about downsides. Right. It's a little bit more bulky than the Dyson But fluffy. it is bagless, so you're not worrying about buying new bags. Not buying bags. You still probably should clean filters and stuff. I'm sure they recommend right. that. I don't think you have to do it as frequently as you do with the Dyson Fluffy. Um, but yes, I, I really like the Fluffy for going up and down stairs, for little nooks and crannies. Uh, the Shark does offer the option, obviously, of doing um, bare floor right. as well. So, so you, it's got the agitator versus the non-agitator. Right. So you absolutely can use it on hard wood. Right. Um, and we and it have, has the attachments too. It has many attachments and it can come separate, off, yeah. separate from the main unit and become small. If you wanted to plug it in and go up the stairs, you could. But I always just stick with my Dyson Fluffy right. <laughs> to go up and down the stairs because it's handheld and it's just so quick and no cords. So on the spot here, if you're choosing one of the two vacuums, <sighs> what would you go with? If I had to go with one, I would probably still go with the um, with the corded vacuum. I would go with the Shark just because there are so many times that I run right. out of battery power. Right, and um, it's got all the attachments. It does it break does. down, it's all in and one. it does yeah. it does the hardwood and the carpet. It so does do everything. I think to overall, the Dyson, it does just a better job. Yeah, the Dyson yeah. is. I'm still recommending it, you guys. But it's I'm, convenient. I'm saying if yeah. you if you ever invest in two vacuums, these would be the two that I would do because of being able to work interchangeably with each other. Right. And uh, yeah, we will leave links below for both of these vacuums. Check them out. Do some research before you make that investment. Yep. Um, and uh, I hope that you try them out and I hope you like them as much as we do here in our in our home. Go ahead and check out the rest of the 12 days of Christmas and all the product reviews that we're doing. So go ahead and let us also know if you've used either one of these two vacuums and your pros and cons as, as far as your experience with them. So thanks for joining us. This is a perfect time of year to catch up on all of your studying and reading and resource Learning. gathering, right? <laughs> we're gonna go over a, a few of the resources and tools that we have enjoyed sifting through and gleaning information from throughout the years. Why don't you talk about Joel Salatin's book? Yeah, so we don't have a physical copy of that. This is one that I, I loved listening to it, book on audio. Um, it was by Joel Salatin, The Marvelous Pigness of Pigs. That It's not about pigs. <laughs> You're right. It's not Just about be pigs. aware, it's not about pigs, but it's worth the listen. It is worth the listen. It's and I don't want to give you a book. lot of information on what it's about because it the surprise and the shock yeah. of the the content within that book was what kind of made it exciting for for us as we started listening to it. So And this is a family book. I'm I'm I mean, yes. dare I say, we were we did a family road trip to Maine and back, so we had a lot of time in the car. And yeah. one of the audiobooks we listened to was this book, this, right. uh, The Marvelous Pigness of Pigs by Joel Salatin. And not only were we engaged by it, yeah. but like Julianne and Marie and Elise and Will, and even the little kids were listening, you yeah. know, like in the background. And it was really some amazing points, some wonderful encouragement, yeah. some, I mean, it got me thinking and it, it began to reformulate kind of my thoughts on homesteading. But even if you're not, if you eat food, yes. this, this book is pertinent to you. That's how valuable it is. Who doesn't is. eat food? I know, we all eat food. <laughs> so you're gonna want to to get this book, whether you do the audiobook like we have right. so that we can have it with us everywhere we go, or you get the physical book in hand, we highly recommend this book by Joel Salatin. Right. Another resource that we go to is the Bible of country living. <laughs> the Bible. <laughs> it is large. It's not the Bible, right? but it seems like it. Can you guys see how it's thick that is? It's the encyclopedia of country living. Yes, and it's by Carla Emery. And um, this book, I mean, you could, you can learn 
anything and everything that you yeah, need to know. Yeah, it's the hands-on resource manual for and sure, And again, right? you know, we obviously cater to a lot of homesteaders, but this is pertinent to anybody who yeah. wants to kind of learn some of the old skills on, um, you know, pastime ways, you know, and different things. And just, I mean, just amazing things. Talks about the different, how to grow certain things, what to, you know, how to forage, how yeah. to preserve, all these neat things. And Julianne has enjoyed this book so much. So I'm, I'm just saying like, and she's 17, so I'm not just talking to, you know, a, like grown-ups out there. <laughs> these kind of books for anyone that has an interest in learning new skills and in sure. kind of learning the old ways of doing things, this is a great, great book for you. You're gonna wanna check this out. There's gonna be links below for all these things, by the way. Yes. Next, um, this is this is kind of a special book. Uh, it's called Whispers of Truth. and. Uh, I'm, I'm promoting it for two reasons. The first reason is because I, I love and know this dear sister in the Lord who wrote this book. Um, and it's a beautiful little devotional. Um, and sometimes devotionals can be a little bit overwhelming because of the amount of reading that yeah, is required. Too but yeah. this, not only is it beautiful on the outside, it's beautiful on the inside too, especially with what it has to say. Mm. And you open up and, you know, it's just, it, it will take moments of your time. But if you need a gift idea for a, a wonderful devotional that's going to be simple and easy for people to kind of get a hold of, this is a book for you. And, you know, each day is something different, like um, talking about wonder and what does it mean and where is it in scripture and talking about abundant life. And right. it has a place for you to write notes notes and it's just a this is a beautiful book to have in your home uh, if you want it for yourself or want it for for a friend or a, a mm -hmm. sibling a daughter or whatever it's it's gorgeous and it's and you know I know um, couples that have been going through it together too yep. so um, this whispers of truth book is really special and and precious and dear to us so we want this in your home as well mm -hmm. um, because of the valuable uh, lessons and uh, insight that that is in this book so anyway whispers of truth by l h light you guys are not going to want to miss it and i'll put some links a uh, link all in the of description. these below links yeah the last set of books i am just as excited about too you know last but not least for sure um yeah. it is a, a th series of three books mm -hmm. there's you are chosen and tonight and these are children's books that you got are just hardback durable books <laughs> beautiful beautiful books the illustrations by lauren coppola in this book are amazing it was written by emily ossel mm -hmm. and um these are scripture based books just so you know um and i mean they i'm just going to share one page because these are so beautiful and i'm not kidding that all of my kids i mean Elise, over and over even again. Even Elise, yeah. as a big kid, would read these books and would keep them in her bed, and then Tabitha reads them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, here's one page. Let me see. I'm going to read one page to you. So it says, you know, beloved, I chose you for this time right now. And then it has a scripture to go along with it. Like, who knows whether you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this, you know, out of Esther. And um, it's just. If you have anyone in your life who has kids or is about to have a baby or grandkids, you guys are not gonna wanna miss out on this opportunity. Yeah. These are beautiful, beautiful books that you're gonna just love. So many of you have asked us directly, whether it's in messages or in emails or whatever, mm -hmm. what kind of canner do we like to use? And today we wanna share that information with you. I'm gonna talk about two different canners today, and you've experienced both of them too, I so have. you can chime in <laughs> as well if you want to. But the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Stovetop Presto canner. The go-to warhorse. Yeah. Yes, and it is probably the most basic version of a stovetop canner that I have seen, but yeah. I like that. I don't like guessing like with five different gauges and having to pay attention to all of that. I like it right. simple and streamlined. So one of the ways that we pressure can our food from the garden, high tunnel, from uh, the meat that meat we harvest from our farm, is this way is through pressure canning right. and um our stovetop canner is 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 a good size for a you know for a stovetop canner mm -hmm. um it i can fit i think seven quarts i'm i'm being put on the spot right now you know i just fill it up so seven yeah. quarts in there and you know that's a lot of at at one time i'm really happy with it i like that it is simple it only has like you know one pressure gauge and it's got the weights on it right. and uh you know i always joke about this but my daughter is the one who taught me how to can you know you guys always like to give me credit for teaching julianne how to can well it's not actually true 
It's the opposite. So when we got into canning years ago now, um, she's like, mom, I really want to do this. Yep. I really want to take this on and like champion this. And she did. And I learned from her. <laughs> I've learned from her too. So has Josh. So <laughs> yep. um, this is the, you know, this Presto canner is the one that we really uh, enjoy when it comes to the basic level yep. of pressure canning yep. Easy on to the function. stove top yep. and even outside on like the gas, um, uh, attachment outside. You yep. can do that as well if you want to keep the the aromas of canning outside. Yeah, all the humidity in canning, yes. right? But I want to spend a decent amount of time talking about the Presto digital canner. Right. Because Electric this, digital canner, correct? Yes, because it is kind of new in the grand scheme of canning for us. Right. And it's new to the canning world in general. It's kind of been a game changer though. <laughs> yeah. We are like huge fans <laughs> and i you know you if you've been following our channel for any period of time um, first if you're new make sure you subscribe but if you've been following along you know we use this digital pressure canner all the time yes i'm going to talk about some of the reasons i like it so much it's um, easy it's and easy. oh by the way it's easy <laughs> yes it's it's so super easy when when your presto digital canner arrives at your home uh, you open it up and inside it literally gives you instructions step by step and immediately on your you know on your screen you are selecting uh, water canning or you know pressure canning right you select one of those and you say how long you need to go for it you, it takes you step by step super user friendly right. all you have to do is follow the instructions and then it be especially after the first couple times you just get it down yep another the, another reason why i like it so much is it doesn't have to be on the stove top Yes. It can be plugged in on the ground, off to the side, in the dining room, whatever. It can be off of the stove. In our family, we cook and bake at home a ton. Mm -hmm. We're home a lot and we like to make food at home and I need my stove. <laughs> and sometimes <clears throat> when I have the stove top pressure canner taking up so much space, because it really does take up two burners pretty much yeah, because of so how big, big it is, uh, which is great but because it takes up that much space it makes it hard to prep meals and stuff especially sure. if you're on like a marathon of canning which is usually how we do it the other thing that's really nice about it is when you plug it in and use the electric canner it's self-regulating as far as the temperature goes so it's going to maintain temperature it's kind of a set it and forget it once it gets set up and yeah. starts going through its process you're not trying to adjust heat underneath it and kind of babysit it like you would yeah. the canner on the stove you're just letting the electric canner do the work for you. So once you go through the initial prompts and you get the canning process going, it holds the temperature and it does a great job at kind of just set it and forget it and walk away right. and it's not gonna blow up on you. <laughs> right, and it, it takes you through all the prompts. So even, you know, if you're just water bath canning, you make sure it's not pressurized and you right. just have it on the right settings and it, they instruct you on in how much water and, and different things like that. So it's very user friendly, especially to someone that maybe is new to canning. Yes. It's super user friendly and you we use both at the same time. Yes. You know, so I'll have the digital canner over on the ground out of the way in the dining room and have the stovetop pressure canner going on the stove and you can get two for one and have it done so i yeah. i am a big fan of both i'm not even going to say that i like one more than the other i think they serve different purposes yes. and they can work together if you're trying to kind of expand your canning abilities uh, i highly recommend both of these products what is what are your experiences with pressure canning whether it be with an electric canner or a stovetop canner let us know if you've had a good good or bad experiences with either one of them or what you prefer one over the other in the comments below. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow us for more information on everyday items for your home and homestead. So canning season has finally come to an end. It was a busy season, but a good one. Uh, Julianne and Josh and myself, we've been busy canning up different items from the garden, mm -hmm. the meat that we have put up. Uh, we've shared many of those videos with all of you. Mm -hmm. And we know you guys are working just as hard as, as we have been working in canning season. But it's such a good feeling to have the root cellar stocked and ready to go for winter. This year, we uh, used a new tool in our tool belt when it comes <laughs> to canning, and that is for jars lids and we want to talk to you about this company and this product today so four jars reached out to us about a year ago and offered us a product demo to go ahead and try out their their lids and we went into it kind of with some i don't know what's apprehension yeah, word, apprehension. right um because you don't want to go through all the work of growing and putting up your food and canning it and then have the lids fail um, that's a very bad feeling yeah so 
We went ahead and, and they sent us out some canning lids to try out. We've we've used them now for coming up on a full, well, it's been a full canning yeah. season for sure. And we have had great success. The, the seals have held up. Yes. Uh, we have canned everything from vegetables to our meat. Um, and those who can meat especially, is it can be a little bit of a, once again, kind of a scary thing. You want that to seal up and to, and to seal well. Yeah. And so we've been really impressed with four jars. We've been impressed with not only the product itself, but the company. Uh, they're based out of Florida. They've been great to be able to get hold of as far as customer service goes or just interacting with them. And just a really cool family company. Like Josh just said, they're family owned and, and run. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's a longer story behind this, but they kind of started their company in the midst of the pandemic mm -hmm. in order to provide a good quality product to people that were needing to get it and couldn't get it at, at that Supplies time. Supplies and shortage. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. so it was a valid reason, uh, really great family business, and we're just, I'm, I'm glad it worked out, and I'm glad we tried it because, you know, we do get offered to try products a lot, yeah. and a lot of the times we just don't, don't do that. Yeah. And in this case, I'm so glad we did because the quality is very good, and um, we're really happy with, with this particular company with the Four Jars lid. So as of right now, Four Jars is offering a wide mouth and the regular mouth uh, lids. They are expanding their product lines to release in the soon. We're not allowed to say. In the soon, but they, <laughs> they, they are working on jars and yes. actually getting the physical jars on site as and well. And other things. So they're expanding their product line. They're growing as a company, but they are offering the BPA-free, rust-proof, um, best choice um, canning lids that are, they've certified them for water bath canning, pressure canning, I'm reading it right off the back here, yeah, he's steam canning and vacuum seal canning. So uh, they've put them through their paces. These are boxes of 100, so they give you the whole box of 100. Um, I think that they have boxes of 50 as well. <laughs> we just don't ever buy them that small. We buy the boxes of if 100. If you guys can like, <laughs> if you can like we do, yeah. you need 100. And they don't, they're not going bad. Yeah, you know, you can, if you don't use them. these all this season, then you can use it next season. We have been so happy. I've had great success with these sealing up. Yes. We're not promoting anything that we do not support and do not use every here day. <laughs> every day yeah. or you know in particular seasons so we know you guys are going to love these lids as much as we do mm -hmm. and i'm telling you these if you don't can yourself but you know somebody who does this will be a great gift yep. to give away to somebody whether it's for christmas for a birthday for whatever like someone who's just getting into canning this is a great gift idea raise your hand if you were as anti air fryer as i was at the beginning i'm guilty i'm admitting it, but yet I'm going to talk about how much I love my air fryer. Okay. <laughs> so Josh was pushing for this. So this is kind of big. We're back here somewhere. Blazant yep. has sent us two different air fryers to try. Yep. And that's what kind of kicked my butt into gear with checking into the air fryer and deciding if I liked it. We started with the small little air fryer, which is easy to take up and down or like whatever. Like the basket style. Yeah, it's yep. a basket style. You've seen us use it, I think, to make gnocchi and to make potatoes, yep. um, like home fries and stuff like that. But um, just recently, <laughs> our toaster finally bit the dust. We had a four slot, toaster right and also believe it or not our microwave kind of beat, bit the dust too right. and um, so we've had to kind of improvise with that but you've been wanting to get rid of the microwave for a while a long time I wanted to pull the trigger and I was like Josh let me get rid of the microwave he was <laughs> he was like no it's it is really convenient it, it is. really is and so it's kind of a hard sell unless you just dive in and do it and right. we had had this sitting brand new down in our basement and I had not yet pulled the trigger mm -hmm. but when the toaster finally died and the microwave died I was like okay get rid of it I'm not replacing it get rid of it I'm not replacing it right and we decided to throw this on the counter in the place of where the toaster was I've got a nice little spot where it fits real nice it's about the same depth as what a toaster would be right and we have been using it every day yep I know you're gonna say, yeah, I know. You're like late to the game. Like you, all of you guys who have air fryers <laughs> probably love it. I was just talking to someone the other day and she's like, that's all I use to cook every meal is my right. air fryer. Um, and so we still use the oven all every day, right. all the time. But this can definitely, this has replaced our toaster right. and it can replace your, your microwave. If you're wanting to go that route, it absolutely can do that. Yeah, we've done things from fish to Fresh potatoes. Yeah. We just did that the other day, it was really good. So yeah. salmon, um, I love- Toasting our bread. Yeah, 
the the toasting the bread thing happens like probably 20 times a day in our house. Yes, <laughs> yes, we like carbs. I know I'm going to get comments about the carbs. Yeah. But we like carbs and we're not afraid to admit it. So um, this has, I literally just, we took it off the counter in the kitchen <laughs> and brought it out here because we use this every day. I've been so happy with it. Um, yeah. It's super user friendly as far as all the information. I don't have it plugged in, but a menu comes up up here and you like select. A digital uh, touch screen. Yep, yep, touch screen and you select if you're doing toast, seafood, potatoes. Rotisserie. I can't remember right now. Rot yeah. It has a rotisserie feature, you guys. Yeah. It is so easy. It cooked that fish to perfection the other day, yeah. the, the salmon. And it has like the a basket. It's got different things in there, um, attachments that come with it. And I'm sold. Like I, I am sold. I know some of you have an oven that does like convection cooking and air fryer cooking right. for you. Mine does not have that option. So this is perfect to replace my toaster, and it has. It's I'm I'm so happy with right. it. Let us know if you have been using an air fryer, how your air fryer has worked, and what you use the air fryer for the most. Yeah, give <laughs> me some That's what recipes. I want to know. <laughs> I'll try it out. Give me a recipe link. You know, put it in the just put it in the comments down down below, and I'll try out your recipes, what you love to use, um, yeah. and you know how you like to to use uh, the air fryer as like a And I would say that there are different sizes of air fryers. This isn't the largest one that you can get, but it's also not the smallest style that you can get. And we like it because it's not just the basket style, but it's it's the style that you can use kind of like a toaster and everything else oh, as yeah. well. Oh so, yeah, and I can use, yeah. I can put six different, six to nine depending pieces of bread in here at once. Right, Which is huge, racks. like we even have started making grilled cheeses in here. <laughs> like we've been experimenting with everything, like open face sandwiches, crisps, like paninis. I mean, you can yeah. do it all in here. Salmon, like Josh already said, potatoes. We've been making everything in here and, and we have been really, really happy with it. And this is also an affordable version. There's some really expensive yes. ones out there. I do appreciate how affordable this one is. Yeah. So I'm thankful for this <clears throat> and it is a staple tool in my kitchen right now. We'll have the link below for this one specifically. Go ahead and let us know your thoughts on air fryers and how they've worked for you. And make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the series. Hit the subscribe button and thanks for joining us. Let's talk entertainment. Everybody is always looking for new ways of entertainment and good, clean, fun ways to watch good TV and different things like that. Right. So today we wanna to talk about Abundance Plus. Abundance Plus is a platform that was created by Justin Rhodes and he's a homesteader mm -hmm. and just full of, uh, not only just like such an amazing family, but full of a lot of knowledge over the years of homesteading and working and building his uh, farm and, and the business that they have. Right. And he shares all of those experiences on Abundance Plus, but right. it's not just him. It's all these other wonderful resources and, and people that share their stories. Uh, I love the Roots and Refuge series mm -hmm. on, on Abundance Plus. I like the educational content. I like the, the how-tos and kind of the uncensored or un restricted uh, ways of going into meat processing or butchering. Um, just a lot of different things that other platforms aren't allowing or wouldn't allow right. um, that you're allowed to kind of do on a subscription-based program. Yeah, like right? if you want to learn how to process, you know, your own pig or your own steer, you can actually go and learn. You know, they don't, you don't have to blur stuff out. You don't get your video taken down, you know, yeah. different things like that. It's a great platform and it's family friendly. So even if yes. you're not a homesteader, they do these beautiful little documentaries, the different series on these families. Yeah, it's really high quality. And, yeah, yeah, really professional quality. So yeah. if you're kind of looking for, uh, and I would love to give this as a gift for sure, um, because like you could, uh, it's a gift for the whole it's family. It's a gift for the whole family. For the it's whole just, year. Right. It's right? not just one person, one time where you're like, here, take this gift. It's like they can watch everything that's on there the whole year if right. you sign up for a year or whatever. So that's how it works. It's like, it's kind of like a Netflix or like mm -hmm. a Discovery Plus, but it's Abundance Plus. And you can sign up and have access to all of this beautiful content, which is really great. And uh, I just love being a part of the community over there as well, which yeah. is really fun. And it, I think you touched on that before, but it's not just for homesteaders. It's really like if you're in any of the uh, food preservation or do-it-yourself recipes, uh, recipes, all that different type of stuff, they, they really provide a lot of content in a lot of different ways um, that meets more than just the quote-unquote homesteader. Um, it's that abundance plus mentality that they, that you can preserve 
and that you can process your own foods and your yeah. own your own products at, at, your, at your home. So, and I love that living in abundance, not with like a scarcity mindset, but like living and ab just observing the beauty around you and yeah. learning how to kind of take a hold of that and live an abundant life, not a lacking life or looking at what's lacking, you know? So if you've got a picky person to buy a gift for, go ahead and check out the link below and give them the gift that keeps on giving throughout the year with Abundance Plus. And let us know if you've been over to Abundance Plus and what your experience has been over there in the comments below. So check it out. One of the items that I get quite a bit of <laughs> comments about, because we do our, a lot of our videos here, yeah. are our beautiful blue lanterns. And I still love them just as much as the day that I ordered them. And actually, back in the day, you know who had these? And I was just thinking about that. Um, an American Homestead. Yes. One of my our very first uh, experiences with watching a YouTube family. I mean, mine anyway, I'm yeah. trying to think, was was an American homestead. And at the time, Jamie, uh, yeah. who is with the Lord now, but Jamie uh, had these beautiful lanterns yep. in her home. And that's what inspired me mm -hmm. to get these lanterns. And so many of you guys ask about these, and I, I love them. So today we're gonna talk about them and um, share where we got them. Um, this is actually an Amazon purchase. Yep. I'm not sure if you can go to the site directly, but we purchased them through Amazon, which is very convenient. Yep. And they have other colors besides this beautiful blue. But you guys, oh, oh you notice that we have these. <laughs> they always like, ask about them. I don't just light these for videos. We light these, especially in the winter, yeah. on an almost daily basis. Like it's it's super dark when you come down in the morning, and it's it's early. And I love the ambiance of the light. I can't they're, handle they're, bright light in the morning. Yeah, they're pretty but functional, right? I like them because they are a, a backup for if you have a power outage or. Mm -hmm. Um, you just want that extra light source that is somewhat pretty or mood right. setting, right? Um, is nice when company's over and has, right. has that function to it. Um, but it is super nice to have as something that's kept around the home and used every day, but it's there actually as an emergency backup as well. So it's kind of checking two boxes and, and not causing a bunch of extra storage and all that stuff. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, because I display, I have one here and I have one over there that you can't see. Right. And then I have a third one. And um, I just like to keep them around just mm -hmm. in case, because if the power goes out, which has happened to us, absolutely, yeah. you light these up and they can just burn for a long time. They are um, super nice too, because they have this size, which is a little, is a little bit smaller yep. than they have a slightly larger one. And it's not, it's not, huge and like bulky but it's um, smart yeah it, it's it just two different really sizes well, yeah. right yeah. and my only concern was is when we originally talked about this you know at first i just used typical lamp oil yeah and uh it does the job for sure but i knew that that wasn't good for you yeah <laughs> i knew that it wasn't smells, good to be breathing yeah. that inside if you and, and it smelled strong yeah. so i was yeah. like okay what can we do josh to fix this and so you went on the search for a, a better fuel. Yeah, we found a Firefly Clean Fuel. And once again, we'll put the links for both of these down below. Um, but this stuff has been awesome. It, yes. it has barely, it has no odor to it is what they say. Right. I would say barely any odor. Because Minor. when something's burning, you're probably gonna smell something coming off of it. Yes. But when they're set to the right settings and you're using them properly, it's very minor, if at all. Well, and um, I can handle this. So like, yeah. you know, these don't get, I mean, of course the glass gets warm to the touch, but they're very user friendly. It's yep. We've had to change the wick, you know, because we use these so, so much, not only for emergencies, but just for uh, daily use. Yep. So you swap can, out the yeah, wicks. You swap out the wicks. They, yep. they shouldn't go bad, you know, there shouldn't be any issue with them. Yeah. Uh, it's like an investment that you make, but that just keeps giving because mm -hmm. you can replace wicks, you can replace oil yep. and just keep it going for you so we've had great success now i just love the colors so much and they so do take down pretty easily you just pop the top off and then the globe comes out so you can actually clean the globe mm -hmm. off yeah all um, that comes and out. keep the glass clean and and they they just wipe down really easy so they've been a really simple product to use but it's something that we we literally use almost every day yeah and i just Again, I love when I can combine something beautiful along with the functionality, yeah. you know? And so this is a two for one. It's a decoration in my home, but it's practical and everybody likes them yeah. in our house and we all love the color. So, so many of you have asked, so now I'm <laughs> answering the question. Where are the blue this. lanterns from? Yeah, so many people. So anyway, I hope you go check these out in the link below. Yep. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you let us know in the comments below also if you use lanterns 
what you've had success with, and if you'd use a different fuel at all that you that you found to be um, a quality fuel, because uh, it's always good to know with different products as well, but we've found that this is the cleanest and the best fuel, burning fuel so far. Yes, I love learning and hearing from all of you, so make sure you comment below and let us know what you love. Some of the products that we enjoy most around Heartway Farms are the products that we make at home, right? It's so true. Annie and the girls, uh, they, they produce and they make a lot of the products that we are able to sell here from the farm, that we're able to use here ourselves, and that we ship to you all around the country. Over many years now, I mean, whether it started with like my mom, you know, back many years ago, uh, practicing and, and uh, learning how to make soap, and then sharing that knowledge with Julianne or making our lotion, you know, that it's been a bit of a team effort over the years. And mm -hmm. it, some of these products have turned into our very favorite products. Everyday use items. And we're always <laughs> striving to make, uh, to use all natural products in our home. Again, we're not perfect at it, but we're always striving to get better in that area. Mm -hmm. And that's what kind of springboarded us into making our own stuff. Right. Um, Julianne makes all of our own bar soap now, mm -hmm. um, homemade with very clean ingredients. She makes our lip balm, our gold lotion, which one of our customers, this was kind of funny, one of our <laughs> customers, Robert, if you're watching, um, was like, hey, you guys should add patchouli essential oil into your gold lotion so because he wanted it to smell more masculine. Well, I love it. And so I do that. I have Julianne do that for, for yeah. our gold lotion. Yeah. But we have our regular gold lotion too. And just over time, it has morphed and we keep adding new things, which is really fun. Yeah. And as our home business grew and our mm -hmm. homestead grew, we, uh, we were poked and prodded to start offering our items on our website. So right. on heartwayfarms.com, we started putting these things up there. Marie makes handmade items. She makes a lot of like handmade uh, washcloths. Yes, and, which uh, I also love. Yeah, different items like that, little kids toys and stuff like that, so. Yeah, cute yeah. little crocheted items. And uh, we carry uh, t-shirts yeah. and merchandise. I just happened to, I didn't, no, I didn't plan this, but I <laughs> happen to be wearing my favorite shirt, which is a Heartway Farm shirt. Yeah. Anyway, so it's been fun. It's been fun to share our products with all of you, our our raw honey and elderberry syrup and all these different things that yeah. we offer. And uh, they really are our favorite items that we use all the time. And that's why we sell them because we love them so much. And, and we use them all the and time. And we use them all yes. the time. So we really are excited to kind of introduce you to these products or share uh, these products with you. And if you have purchased items, we've gotten some really great feedback from different yeah. people that have purchased them. So yeah, you guys can tell us about that. Yeah, let us know in the comments below if you've bought anything or you've, you've used anything that you've enjoyed. Make sure you check out the rest of the series and all of the different products for your home and your homestead.